Hello friends and welcome back to another GTA Online Ouch! I let go of the keyboard Oh my VIP is spooked So I thought you know what I'm gonna uh, Share a video while playing and doing stuff This is uh, just you know my uh, my experience out of you know five days and few hours playing GTA online according to the stats right let me deliver this guy Del deliver let me throw this guy f in this VIP had so much drink and then he passed that in my club in my nightclub so I took him to emergency okay look so yeah oh, what, what to do five days three hours 17 minutes a time spent in GTA online so I thought you know after this time I share uh, a little bit of my thoughts uh, and you know tips if you will for beginners especially and I'm I'm in a closed crew session because every time I'm in a you know open public session I get kicked out I mean not from the session but the whole game crashes and I don't know is that overloading I mean it never happens in a closed crew session so it's not I don't think it's about my computer resources as in gra graphics if you yada 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 okay so anyway I'm in the closed crew session because of course we want to talk now let's just start I'm gonna do things as I'm talking so I'm gonna go to my board yeah, let's go to the nightclub first, and let me register as a motorcycle MC club president. Lester keeps calling me. That dude wants so many things. Uh, the one thing that you know, one of the things that really bugs me is that there are so many so many uh, dialogues that are completely unnecessary and repetitive. I mean, I get they have to be repeated at some point, but they, they are too much. So anyway, let me go there. I don't know why I took this guy's car, even though I had a card right there. Car. Card. So yeah, this video is going to be completely unplanned. So I don't know what's going to happen. Even to what I want to say. <laughs> I thought, you know what, I'm going to go from all natural. I just don't want to plan anything. I just don't want to be anything scripted. just want to be... Just wanna be, just wanna be. Okay, so the first thing, as a beginner, what I learned is to, of course, you need money, like they say, cash is the king of Los Santos, right? And uh, the first thing you need to know is to how to get money, and then when you open GTA Online for the first time, you have to go through a few missions here and there. You have to do some mandatory missions until you're on your own. Okay, so the first thing I learned is if you have money, when you get money enough to buy, let me, let's see, to buy what, the, a nightclub, I would buy nightclub first, and then we go from there. Okay, so nightclub, clubhouse? No, nightclubs. I bought this one. It was like a million four, I think. But you can see here, a million five, a million hundred, three hundred. It's not over a million. It's not over two million. The most expensive is seventeen, one million seven hundred, and you can get things. All right. Now, let me. How do I go back? Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. So you can see my nightclub already has some. I have the light rig, and. I'm one level of storage, no dancers, no dry ash, okay? Let's go in. And, and the reason I say to buy this one, because it's very, I, it's proven to me, it's very easy. You, you really don't do anything here. And every day, hi. So you get, uh, you know, the entry cost maximum for me is $100. I don't know if you can set it more than that. It doesn't work for me, not in here. Or maybe other clubs. Yeah. Hey there, boss. Okay. Good for you. And then. Oh, you see these guys distracting me. 
Ah, this, this. I'm glad this thing popped up. So basically, you just have to run your club and keep it popular so you can get the money, you know, in the maximum amount of money you can get. Let me go, you crazy dancers. All right, I'm going to go up to my computer and then talk there to show what's going on. And by the way, I mean, I'm enjoying, really, I'm enjoying the close crew session. Sometimes my friends join and we can play together and without, you know, being chased <laughs> by crazy airplanes. Anyway, so let me sit. You can see here my wall safe is empty because I just took out the uh, revenue. Yeah, I know big words. Anyway, you can see that you see like I have already earned four million five hundred just yeah just out of the nightclub so from selling things and and what you call them the earning that is come every night you know the revenue and seriously I mean I paid one and a half million for it so let's uh, so it's gonna be three million pure profit in five days and I didn't have it so uh, it means it's actually it's maybe uh, yeah a million dollar a day in a normal not a, not a GTA day normal day right so uh, you can see that daily income the current daily income is 50,000 and if your club this one popularity is always high you always you get that 50,000 and if it goes lower, of course, you get lower. Now, uh, of course, you can... I never did this. I, I, I've never found it. You have to pay to book this. I never found it, you know, necessary. Warehouse management. I have these two guys. And uh, for more, I need to buy other stuff, which I don't have. But uh, these two are... I mean, you can see here. I mean, I can sell right now for 34000 Yeah. And that's... I can upgrade. I have already a staffed upgrade. That's why my... Popularity never drops so much. You can see here. Okay. Now, here's the th tip I want to tell you about the popularity of your uh, club. What? For I forgot to say something. I forgot to show you something. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sit down, sit down. This is also, you know, this is, uh, you have to sit down and then press enter to go into the thing, into computer. Anyway, you know, if your popularity drops, you can promote the club by doing missions but it is very unnecessary because every time you are in the club and you're just you know you're you're visiting your own club right these things these blue things pop up basically they are very very tiny missions which will increase the popularity of your club compared to those promoting things which basically do the same thing compared to those these are absolutely nothing and super easy. This guy calls you and says, hey, deliver the guy to whatever. Take the VIP to the medical tower, right? And of course, you know, you know, you have to drive slow, so it will not spook the VIP, yada, yada, yada. But that's it, really. And while I'm playing, you might, it might pop up probably because it's already nighttime in GTA again. And it might pop up that says your daily income is in the safe, $50,000. Bam, right there. Easy money, honestly. So, and of, but yeah, but you might say, okay, so what about that million and a half? Where do I get first? That one. Well, that one, of course, by grinding. I mean, if you, if you didn't, let's say you didn't get the criminal starter pack that comes with a million dollar. Right? So start, you start from zero, you have nothing, you have no property to buy. You have really, you start from zero, ground zero. I had the, you know, it was, it was on sale when I bought it. How we doing? Let's, uh, let's not forget this game is 10 years old, so that's why it's on sale all the time. So, yeah, I think you can get a good deal when you get the premium GTA. It's, it's always on sale, really, honestly. Anyway. So, you can just grind, even if you don't have the criminal package, a million dollar in the bank. You can just, you know, do the missions that you have to do with other people. And, like you see here, just a second. 
damn nightclub popularity has increased that's it that's nightclub business management and the discussion and of course if you want to get deeper into the nightclub management you can buy acid lab and also all these other places where will which will unlock more products in the nightclub which you can sell and then also the, you can also buy i think i believe you can buy this this phone call is kind of annoying to me honestly i think you can also buy this terabyte and it, they will place it under your nightclub but will, which basically again you can run missions out of this okay this lady page keeps calling me and she says buy this anywho again i forgot the car is right there but i like this car don't turn green don't turn green do not turn green ah right last second sorry okay s two stars seriously and simon doesn't want this car either so that's the first thing i would say if you in my experience and if i can recommend things to anyone i would really say you know if you're playing GTA Online and you have a million, two million dollars, for example, in the bank, buy the nightclub first. And then, from there, we can find, we can do other things. Okay, back again. I want my club car. Noise, look at this car. Close the door, bro. Okay, so, let me spark here for a second. Oh, not M. I thought I mean Red Dead. So, the other thing. So, the first thing was the club. I really think, you know, it's a good way to earn money the easiest way. So far, for me, in my experience. Again, there might be other, there might be easier ways. There might be better ways. This is just, I'm just sharing these things out of my pure experience. Okay, not researching other, you know, weekly pages or watching other videos or something just just learn just you know learning as I'm going and sharing these things with you guys mm -hmm. yeah and so the other thing that I really found very 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 useful in my experience this few days yeah is to focus on the events so you see like I pressed home on my keyboard like right now there is free mode events which is this one is very difficult actually this one is like a chaotic thing but you can still earn money because it's I don't know how many times is it triple or twice you get more money and you can really really you know step up from there if you just oh you can see here Omega your daily nightclub take has been added to the office safe fifty thousand dollars just like that i didn't even try this is the easiest money in gta honestly now i was what i was gonna mention the other thing i found it amazing in terms of money return during then during an event to be fair it was this auto shop let's go there i bought this auto shop i didn't even realize there was an event going on about the auto shop contracts so I was getting triple uh, three times more while I was doing those missions so every mission that one gives you like a hundred fifty hundred twenty thousand dollars and those are contracts so actually that means you need to do three missions like prep the mission that does like three different missions and then do the actual missions but I did all of them alone and it wasn't actually that difficult. I quite enjoyed it. It was there was a one there was a part where you had to rob six banks. That was the awesome. That was re I really liked that one. But again, because it was on the event, I would get paid like six hundred thousand on every mission. I was insane. I was so crazy. It was so fun and how cheap. But. I generally like car related uh, vehicle yeah car related I should say not vehicle uh, events challenges the things that are really because I like cars like many many guys I like cars 
many many people okay let me get in Just to showcase my auto shop so also this is good also so every now and then you also get these modification like these people that they need their cars to be fixed and I'll, I'll do it in a second I just want to show you my club ah you see Simon uh, also this guy sends me you know sent you that he says I want these cars so go find them and deliver them that's also a good pay again I like car related uh, things by the way none of these I didn't buy any of these I mean and I'll tell you what I mean uh, except this bike which Akuma I really like that bike I found this one this was pa part of the criminal starter this one too this one too not this one not this one I like this one it reminds me of a Raptor but in a crazy way so you can custom your cars here and many things are actually free not all of them but some of them and of course you get all these you know free stuff let me show you the contracts what I mean so uh, you get your you can play arcade it's a very nice place hey yeah fast and furious look at this so I like the contracts for example like uh, you know the agency deal the super dollar deal and the ECU job so right now I have these and the total earning of these would be 2,400. That's to me. I mean, I honestly, I really enjoy doing these missions because they are not crazy difficult. And the prep also is easy. Like I said, I've done all of this. This is the second run. You can see completed five contracts. And easy. This is again another source of good money. Good money and you actually, I think this really worth buying. And of course, you get your free snacks. You know, as soon as you get one of these shops, you'd never have to go and, you know, buy snacks from a supermarket, which is very insanely crazy. So let's fix this car. Again, easy. And you can see the checklist. It says respray it, service it, respray it. The guy wants silver. Okay, whatever you say, bruh. Performance, transmission. We want engine and turbo. Okay, engine level one. You see, and you can see all of these are free. Uh, turbo is the tuning turbo, and then suspension is the no transmission, not suspension. Is the sports. All right, and checked checked body work. We get mud guards or rear panel, front bumper. We want secondary extender. There we go. And then we need the mud guards and real rear panel mud guards and rear panel which one carbon all right in the wheels the wheels are uh, which one tuner all right as uh, what stanced eg i don't know what that means there we go okay and that's it you can of course change the color just as an extra thing but it doesn't really matter so you confirm confirm now if I have uh, staff which I don't I can let them deliver I never tried this I kind of have the feeling uh, if I buy a staff and let them deliver these cars they're gonna mess it up oh the LG LG LJT guy is angry because I don't have supplies anyway uh, so you get these cars and you have to deliver them now again this is not during the event but I was delivering these cards during the event and I was getting over a hundred dollars paid it's awesome it was awesome and even now with the normal amount of paying out it's still I love it auto shop is one of one of the best buys I've ever done and so anyway so you have to deliver these cars but of course you have to do it perfectly if you scratch the car they're gonna you're gonna have to pay for it now it's not gonna be that much for example if even if I ha get into an accident uh, I like five hundred dollars or something so it's not that much so you, the pay is gonna be double so right now it says twenty five thousand down there 
Now I spent 35,000, right? I don't know if you noticed. It was 35,000. Now let's see how much I get paid. It should be 50, uh, what, 30, 60,000. Okay. So I, and then, uh, yeah, I was saying I, will, I, I never done it, but I kind of wonder if I buy staff and, you know, let them deliver, would they do it perfectly or they would come out and say, oh, hey boss, sorry, I had an accident, yada yada. Because if they do it, I'm going to fire them. Anyway, let me, almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there, almost, 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 oh, not yet, sorry. I'm an idiot. There we go. There you go, dude. Here's your car. That's it. And how much? 6,000. Yeah, exactly. So you get paid uh, the amount you spent on the car, of course, and the service cost. I mean the payment for the delivery, 25,000 in this case. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, that was the auto shop guys. And again, to me, one of the best buys. Who's this guy? Uh. What next? So, again, as a beginner, uh, Focus on the events, guys. Focus on the events, really, and they they really pay out well, uh, unless they are very like crazy or you just don't want to do it. For example, I d I don't want to I don't want to participate in these one free free mode challenges. They pay good and it's very challenging for me. I'm not a good gamer, honestly. I'm not a hardcore gamer. I'm not. I like things just you know. Just to be fun, I don't like so many too challenging games that will want to make you pull your hair out. And if you watched my previous video on GTA on the worst buy that I had, which will be linked in the description, you know what I'm talking about. So, ooh, I like this car. What is this? It's like a, it, it looks like a Bugatti. But of course the names or logos are different here. Sheesh. Let's see. The other thing that is... What the... Did I not complete this? I have. Look at that. Okay. The other thing of course is the daily stash house and... Hidden something? Hidden... I don't have it. I think I already collected it. Here. This one. So, Lamar's Davis hidden why it says Lamar Davis in here it's this one G's caches cash how do you read that is that cache or cash Shh. Shay. I don't know anyway so these are the other things that I really like to do I like treasure hunt and there is other Pavel land race okay so there's also you know you can find other treasures if you have the submarine or the tiny submarine I don't know the name you know there are there's that yellow I gotta show you I gotta show you the thing is again this comes because it's free for me what the douche not here where is it Travel. It's this one. This one. Kraken. This is free for me because, again, I bought the premium, which is. It has the starter criminal starter pack. And that's in it. But that doesn't have sonar. So if you buy the submarine, which is very expensive, by the way. And again, that video that I have. Why? Why? Why, Popo? I didn't do anything. I was just going fast. That's not against the law. At least not here. And so yeah, but you can find hidden cash boxes underwater. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to escape the police at the same time go to that location. Actually, one of my tips for trans transportation is to use a bike at all times. I know I'm myself using a car right now, but I'm a biker myself. Not in real life, but in the game. But anyway, let me get my bike then. Because I just said it. I like this uh, A Akuma, Akamo, Akuma. I don't know how to read that, but I like this one. Because it has a high acceleration. What the? I don't like that view. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. you can do this you can never do these things with a car <laughs> where is it it's in the middle of this park there it is it's always here it's always by the benches but you can hear that beep beep sound right don't take off your helmet 17,000 plus ammo and snacks. Thank you very much. Now, next things. Next is... I keep pressing M because I... I play Red Dead also. And, okay. So, these two I covered. These are my properties. And, of I mean, uh, this is obvious. But you can, of course, do the missions. There's nothing really... Sophisticated about it. Ah, this one. Uh, the cap thing. In my experience, let me go there. Uh, I recently started the cab driving job. And to me, again, a person who likes car related. Anything car related. I thought it's a good pay. You know, you get... Uh, it. I drove maybe an, for 30 minutes real time life real real time real life time what did what did i say man my brain doesn't work okay let me return so yeah i i worked for 30 minutes and then bam where's my taxi bro i already have the license taxi work unavailable when part of an organization okay i'm gonna disband it because i'm gonna talk proof here Let's talk about something here. Let's go. Okay. Thank you. So yeah. Where is it? Where are you? Why are you so far? And again, I worked for 30 minutes and it paid me like 50,000. And it's easy, again, it's just driving around, really. And they give you a good tip if you drive them fast and safe. Right? Let me do just one job. I believe I can drive. I believe I can touch the sky. Whoa. You guys remember that movie? Hi. Hi. Uh, taxi driver. Oh, the guy. I was. I think it was a French movie. The guy was like a really nice taxi driver very fast that was one of the coolest movies of all time I don't know if it was called taxi driver or it was something else and of course the iconic game crazy taxi remember that so you can see here the tip is a thousand 
the fare. I mean, for uh, so the tip gets lower as you, you know, the more it takes, the more time you spend to get to the destination. The tip gets lower, but the fare gets no. The fare doesn't get higher. The fare gets higher each time you deliver a guy, a, a passenger. So right now it's 106. It's gonna be probably like 115 next time. Man, I took a wrong road, but that's fine. Nine. I mean, the taxi thing I might be a bit, especially like in this particular one, which is very difficult road. So, I mean, it's. I think, again, it's very. It's about your preference. I mean, I kind of like it. The idea of delivering you know, uh, taking people around and you have to be quick about it and every time you get paid more I think it's fine you're welcome and I can do that of course I know but you can see I got a thousand dollar paid all right next uh, this was just a random thing came to my mind so we did the yeah the free snacks of course from your auto shop or uh, office if you bought an office oh look at that there is a instead of facility or a bunker I don't know I have a bunker but I don't have a facility the next thing is very important point on doing missions or anything for that matter in GTA GTA Online is to count the cost of anything you want to do it really uh, to me I think it's very it, it, you know it had a great impact and I had to it helped me a lot but let me let me show you what I mean if I can get my bike first okay so for example okay, let me again with that auto shop and man I keep pressing wrong buttons so Again, you can see, so we talked about the nightclub, which was a million. So, for example, the you count by yourself, like, for uh, that, okay, the nightclub is going to give me a $50,000 a day, a gaming, in the game day. And it will cost me a million and a half, for example, 1.5 million. And then it will... And that's it, but I don't have to actually work for it. I don't you don't have to do anything about it to get the money. It will auto automatically will generate for you. Okay. Now there are other ouchie. There are other parts, there are other businesses that do the same, but again in my experience I've only had the nightclub so far that would that will do this this auto generating money. You just have to go pick it up. Now to me, counting the cost means do I have enough money to buy that? And if I do it, will I be miserable for the next ouch day or whatever? And then I have to grind because I have zero money. Now, that applies to missions too. For example, again, in the video that I make about the submarine, the submarine will cost you about 10 million if you buy the whole thing. Now, if you don't buy, just buy the bear submarine which will be you see I have some parts it will about two million and a half and then the the payout of the mission which is the biggest heist in GTA online the I the Kayo Preco prior I don't know how to say the island heist will give you two million in the first try so if you go with your friends even easier and I mean depending how much you give them how much they will be it will be their cut but I went alone and I got a million and a half and it was but the thing it was very difficult honestly and I've done there are other things and my point from my point is by saying count the cost I think it's very clear but I'm just gonna say uh, count if a mission gives you fifty thousand dollars how much do you have to spend on ammo how much do you have to spend on 
armor, uh, you know, the time, the uh, the requirements, yada yada, the the preparation, all of that. Is it really worth it? And then do this, do it. But there is again, this is this is for a time when you are actually need to count it. You're grinding for earning more and. Ah, right but if you have the money I mean when you you get comfortable so comfortable to just spend money then it doesn't really matter you just go do it it's an experience it's a fun experience so that's another thing the other business that I would say is really nice and I, I so far I liked it and I may kind of like it because I actually got it free because again came with the starter pack is the motorcycle club of course right here and with that the counterfeit cash production that is also free with the premium package premium yeah pre premium game version and I mean motorcycle club you really don't have to I don't I have only one member which is kind of sad but I've been looking actually for other clubs to join I mean I am willing to work my way up to the vice president of any club to just you know be friends I, I'm looking for friendly groups honestly I'm not looking for anything challenging anyway but you get your club yeah and if you supply it, which is basically go and steal, let's do it actually, steal beer for your club because it's a, people come and drink beer here. Hi there, president. Uh, what about you? You get twenty thousand dollars, which is actually nothing, but eh. Uh, you can see here my safe. I have bar earnings zero. I have nothing, but since I'm here. Sit down, bro. This is kind of funny to me. Every time you have to sit down first and then look. You have to press enter to use the computer. Why? I don't get it. Why Why can't it use directly? Okay. Anyway, so like I said, you get I get the factory counterfeit cash, cash factory for free. I have no supplies. Again, I have to go do that. But you can also buy all these businesses. The reason that I don't buy it yet, because again, these are the ones that require work, and you have to you have to uh, do the work, you know, resupply, sell the thing, and we will talk about. It. I actually have the asset lab, but I have it on wheels, not from here. Oh, I just cocaine, cocaine. Man, this game is just a. Uh, Crime, crime, crime. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna instead of. Who'd have thought I'd get to meet a president? Look at the TV. Man, this game is huge. By the way, did I tell you that I am so impressed by this game? I mean, it's it's just what the? Oh, I've never been here. <laughs> I got these bikes, which are also free. Not that one, not not that one. This one was free. I lost the other one. Let me get out. Good luck out there. Thank you, lady. I'm gonna go to my counterfeit counterfeit cash factory to resupply it because they have no supply. So again, uh, like if I had to buy this. I would definitely buy the club because so you can be the president and then have your own club okay but I would not buy the counterfeit cash at first if I didn't have again like I said if I would if I start from zero again sometimes I do that this is actually the second time I had another I deleted my whole uh, you know first time I played online I deleted the whole thing and I start from zero but ah, oh, look at this. No supply, huh? 
I'm gonna go get the supplies. But I would not buy this if I didn't, as of my first choice. By the way, I know I'm talking too much and I'm jumping from here and there and it may, may make no sense. But find the van carrying the supplies. But then again, like I said, I have, I am, I have no particular script or plan about this video for this video. I'm just winging it. And yeah, you can see motorbike is a motorcycle. A motorbike is always, to me, is the best way. Unless, unless, hear me out. You have the money to buy those flying machines, bikes that are super duper crazy. I don't have the money to buy it yet. Man, there are these people on GTA Online and on the, and of course you've you probably seen them if you play them, play on the, in the public sessions. Like they have level five thousand, for example, three thousand, and I wonder how long they've been playing. I mean, it's really. I mean, again, I know the game's been out for ten years, but man, they are so like rich and they have all the things. I am 10 years behind guys, I'm 10 years behind on gaming. But, and I know it's actually very difficult what I'm doing. It says detonate the, okay. Do I have sticky bumps? Okay. Why? Why didn't you just stick it like that? Wait, my motorbike is so close, isn't it? Nada, keep looking. This guy. And so... Other thing I learned from my friend, actually, not myself. Uh, so he also started with the premium, you know, the starter pack. So had a million dollar, and then he went. Ahead, he was so he got excited and went ahead and bought so many, like garages and houses, properties, basically. And that's another tip I learned that don't buy them because you cannot sell them. You can swap them, but you cannot directly sell them, and. Even if you want to, you know, buy something else and kind of like swap them, the pay is not the same as the price is going to be much, much lower. But the point is you have to pay daily, what do you call it, tax? I don't know if it's tax or maintenance. There's a daily charge for them. And the more you have, the more is your daily charge, of course. For me, it's about $6,000 a day right now but I have a bunch of properties where where did it go no oh, let's keep going and yeah these are the things again these are the things I have learned and I'm still learning while playing this game mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My problem with cars is that they turn very easily. They they go in a loop of sorts. Eh, that was funny. Nope. Okay, not that one. There are two more. Which one is easier to go to? Man, if it's if you know, not a lucky person. And if it's if it's me. It's gonna be the last one. 360. Ouch. Who put a tree? Who, for crying out loud, what the deuce happened? Who puts a tree in the middle of a jungle?
Don't if you die if you fall down. <laughs> the other thing is I find that funny at the same time so irritating and annoying is these NPCs. Like even if you drive or just walk by them like normally they will still say something nasty and they are like they and then you you go back and you know kill him or kick him in the head that's funny and the moment you or or the moment that you just aim at them with your gun they just say sorry it's like dude if you don't have the balls to say something then don't there we go I found a man where are you there it is Please be this one. Yeah, get away if you don't want to die. Get away, dude. Good for you. Did I find it? Steal the supplies. Where are they? Is it in the van? Okay, I need to shoot the driver. Ouchie. I, need to I don't remember. Okay, here's here we goes. Here goes the driver. There's someone in the back, I think. Who's driving? I just killed the driver. Who's shooting? Oh, there we go. Okay, we are delivering. The bike is gonna be there for now. Okay, so here's a good example of a thing. One of the things that really, 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 I don't know why they did it this way. And it's the snack in the car. You cannot pull up your weapon wheel, so you have to press M. Go to inventory, go to snacks, and keep pressing enter and it, until you refill your health. There's no other way. Some people were... I, I don't think you can actually create a shortcut for that. I didn't find it anywhere. On PC at least. Anyway. We're gonna deliver this guy. 3.8 kilometers. I was... There we go. The Popo. Let me go. What I was gonna say. So anyway, you guys play GTA Online or GTA, if you do, please, you know, share with me in the comments your thoughts. And what's your favorite radio station? As you can see, I actually don't listen, even when I'm not recording, I don't listen to GTA radio stations. For some reason, not for some reason, the reason is clear, this is a crime game, right? There are, I'm a... I love to listen to soundtracks, movie soundtracks, or game soundtracks. The first thing I noticed, the soundtrack, you know, it's funny, go try it out. The soundtrack from Red Dead Redemption 2. And so play that in the background and and then, uh, you know, open your GTN and play it. Man, it just, it fits. It really does. It's just so awesome. Or any movie that is like a gangster movie like Wrath of Man for example it fits uh, Batman vs Superman kind of fits I enjoy listening to that while playing this game what else what else Beep boop, beep boop. I really, I'm, I, I, like I said again, I'm impressed with this game because this game was developed 10 years ago and I understand they released so many patches and like updates and yada yada. But still, I mean, 
even I remember I the first GTA I played was GTA 3 and even that one it was so many there were so many things you could do I mean here they thought of all they just thought of so many things it's insane I mean, it's just insane all right so you can see and my supplies are here okay I'm gonna go to my bunker oh you can see there I paid what about seven thousand dollars for my daily the charge for dude okay. what do you want stop calling me where's my bike ah. Whee. Okay, so the right now. you see what I mean, dude. Shut up. You see, I can still hear them. This is these are bikers or what? That's what I mean by not liking the dialogues in this game so much, and I cannot turn off the whole thing because sometimes there's, you know, the they want to you want to hear what they say because it's actually part of the game and it's important. Anyway. The reason that I love the nightclub still is, you see, like, you just get $50,000 every time and it might pop up again because the game, the day in the game is over, right? right? So, <clears throat> but you can see with my counterfeit, for example, I have to go resupply it and then when the supplies are when the, it's ready, I have to go sell it, which there is a cavity, there is a weird thing about it or annoying thing, but it's not annoying. Actually, it's not a, it's actually very well thought by, by the developers. And, but because I play alone mostly, it doesn't work for me. Now, and I think, I'm sure you know what I'm gonna talk about. It's the delivery. This chopper is kind of loud. Let's do some fun, guys. This is the one. Is this the Avengers? I don't know what they call this one. Okay. I'm going to go to the bunker. I'll see you guys there. Ouch. So, okay. Uh, I saw uh, English Dave just called me. Yeah guy from the club the nightclub he gave me a mission now this is the first time this kind of mission I've never done it before so I thought well, well, well let's just let's share what's gonna happen I don't know what's gonna happen just go to curb curb dip, 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 dip. can't say it curb crawler curb crawler and steal the van Seriously? Okay. No, you know. <laughs> These guys. What the fudge? I still cannot do it. All right. You know what? Just cut it out already. All right, it says lose the cups, of course. Okay, and I will listen to you, Popo. And I will stop the car. The car driving mechanics are very interesting in this game because you know look at this the cars can shoot no don't shoot the tires the cars can turn very easily and yeah oh this car I like that car it's an electric car much like Tesla but in this game it is called I forgot 
it's an expensive one million dollar car but it's a fine this one right there on my right okay let me lose the cops case what was the name of that car it looks like the Lotus from real life real life car the brand but it actually is electric sound very noise there are quite a few electric cars in this game Lad. where are the popo all right the popos has left me uh uh note note there note all right about uh three and a half kilometers to the destination what you see did you just did you hear that did you hear that i mean like dude it's, i mean no i mean i don't want to shoot you i don't want to kill you all so shut the f up oh what's that I once spent an hour in real lifetime, real lifetime, yeah, in a movie theater. <laughs> Just watch the movies. <laughs> they were quite interesting. What's going on, brother? I bought also a, what do you call it, a war arena war workshop uh, just recently and what the deuce just happened where did my GPS go what so yeah I bought that one just recently I haven't participated in the arena war and the good thing is it comes with a free wep weapon cabinet and i wanted to mention that because i find the weapon cabinets rather useless even though you have to pay for it if you you know in most places i bought it in my bunker and then i was hey i was like what the deuce is the point of this I, aside from of course um, I need to be down. Yep. Aside from, uh, you know, letting you... What the... Letting you organize your guns. You know, like if you, for example, you have too many, you just hide them. Why? Open the damn door, you idiot. Well, what did I do? Oh, Here's the English Dave. Another minute, things are gonna kick off over here. Pegasus. This English Dave also talks too much. What? What's happening? Was is that me in the plane? Don't tell me I'm on the plane now. What the deuce happened? Why am I back on the island? Seriously, I have no idea what's going on here. I'm on the I'm back on the uh the island. What's the name of this island? I keep forgetting. Kayo Kayo, how do you pronounce that? I have no idea. This is what? 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 What am I supposed to do? Are you kidding me? You just brought me all the way here to say the mission is over? Can I? I don't want to dance. Anything you want. Shut up. I have a, a 
went off the dance floor, you can still press L. Okay. I have a metal detector. I don't know how to use it though. I mean, they said when I found that metal detector thing, detector, they said you can use it in on this island to find treasure. And but I don't see any way to use it, and I cannot. So I just have to <laughs> look at this, <laughs> dude. All right, let's go back. Okay. I, I I really you see these are the things that you just really so ridiculous to me because they just flew me to the island just to say the mission is over and now we're back. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Now since I'm here, I'm gonna steal a plane to go to my bunker. Because I was gonna go to the bunker and then I I had to do something. There must be a jet. There should be a jet in that hangar. It should respawn. Uh, the other thing... There it is. The other things I'm really looking, I want to buy and see what's what's the what what does it do. You one, the first one I want to buy a facility to see what missions will unlock, and then a hangar. I, and again and again again, I said that guys, I am very disappointed that I spent over eight million dollars, freaking eight million, close to eight million, on a freaking submarine. And that island missions, honestly, they are too difficult for me. I am, again, I am just a beginner. I'm not a pro. And my friends, they're all, you know, we're all busy some, most of the time. So we don't have time to, I don't, I mean, I cannot, we cannot find the time to play it all together. So, and I am bored. That sucks. It's really difficult. Oh, a stash house down there. The the island mission is very difficult for me because I really I can't get the first. Let's do this too. Uh, I can get the main item, but the problem is when I want to run away from the situation, I I easily die. I mean, there is no way I can sneak pass by the guards if you have gone if you watched somebody else's video or my video or if if you have played the, the island heist yourself you know what I'm talking about now most people say the most the more experienced players uh, say that you can actually sneak by him and get the loot and do all of that and then you know just and just sneak by sneak out without even triggering an alarm and it will take less than an hour the whole mission the preparation and so on but again to me nope I am not that good this uh, as you can see on my right I'm gonna be your tour guide this is the military base do not even attempt there we go I have four stars now I was just trying to explain to my friends here you idiots so yeah there I can make it, I can make it. Can I make it? Oh, there is a chopper. I hope they don't... There we go, I'm jumping down. Oh, freaking... Even... <laughs> that was fun though, wasn't it? Here's another thing, guys. Look, if you die in the, on a mountain in the middle of nowhere, you will respawn in the middle of nowhere. And then you have to, of course, who were those people? You have to find your way down. And if, God forbid, if, you know, if there's no road, you, you keep dying because you keep falling. All right. Where the hell am I? Holy crap, Alenia. I'm so far. Not so far. I need a bike. Let me get my bike. My Akuma. Akumi. Akuma. That would have been cool if I had 
jumped down off the plane sooner. Jumped off the plane. Did I say off? What was that a... Whose car is this? In the middle of nowhere. It's not a nice car, I don't want it. I need to go up. What else? So, yeah. As you may know, I also have Red Dead. And in that game, I even more, you know, I'm in trouble, I'm in, in a miserable gameplay even more because that game is way more difficult. But man, Rockstar Games, Rockstar Company, I don't know, they, they all have, you know, um, they have bugs and they have, you know, maybe you know bad things here and there but in my experience they are very you know their games are awesome they really work on them and no wonder that ge their games take 10 years to develop or release and then because they really work on it and and you can see even now after 10 years GTA is, is still one of the most popular games, uh, if not the most popular. I mean, even Cyberpunk. I mean, that doesn't even come close. Well, I kept you guys busy. We're at the bunker. Why did I take off my bike? Doesn't matter. I could have gone in with the same bike. Okay, this bunker it was also part of that criminal starter pack. So I didn't pay for it. So, what I learned, here's my experience about the bunker. It's an awesome place, by the way. I really like it. I mean, it's just like, it's a bunker. I don't have the, uh, that war machine thing. So I can buy, they keep recommending me buying this, this mobile operation center and put it here so I can work from here. I got no money though. And I can deliver my weapons manufactured I don't know that they work on I can sell it here the thing is this is what I learned so I need to resupply by the way um, the bunker you know that that car in front with the blue icon every time if you drive that one out it's fifty thousand fifty thousand dollars a time so even if your supplies your stock is like a 300,000 you have to do it if you're alone if you're alone you have to do it 50 times 50,000 by the time and once I had like you see here uh, not, not this one I had 300,000 stock so I didn't really know what am I doing what I'm doing so I just I came here I said sell stock I don't have any now and then they said are you sure because if you're alone there will be multiple vehicles and man there were six freaking vehicles and out of all those six you know I had each of them had five locations you had to go it was absolute so I lost that I completely lost it three hundred three hundred thousand dollars poof gone so my recommendation really I learned here if you're alone most of the time and you cannot uh, sell the stock uh, you know once once uh, if you cannot sell the stock like from here uh, don't do it I uh, focus on research for that that's what I've been doing so I, I I focused all the things on the research because if they manufacture Actually, if you they go to manufacturing, uh, it's just not worth it for me. I have other things like my counterfeit cash that is need to be, uh, yeah, that need to be taken care of. I'm gonna go resupply now. These missions are some of them are fun. 
So some supplies get handed to you on a plate, others in private military convoy. That's life. Go to the GPS point, get a hold of them. Somehow, and bring them to the bunker. Okay. Yeah, so some of these are very, very far away. Some of these are here, like that one. I'm gonna take a chopper. I know there is one right here. It's just easier. There's a popo station right here. Whoa, what the fudge. And they have a chopper all the time. If not two, sometimes there's two. It's a funny thing. Yeah, another funny thing. You look. Um, go back home, bikey. You can walk right into the police station and grab a chopper. Nobody says a thing. Look at this. But God forbid you enter a military station and try to steal a jet. I mean, like a fighter, jet fighter, jet fighter, jet. Of course, you can call Lester on your phone and he will give you, once you are, you reached a certain level, uh, you, you have the ability to call, you know, kind of bribe the pol police, bribe the authorities so they will not, you know, be alerted. They will not catch you. So you can walk into the military base. You have about three minutes, I think. And you can walk right into the military base and steal whatever you want. Easy peasy. Anyway. It says go to Zankudo Zankado River. Okay, that was the bunker. Uh, I'm gonna need the resupply and s and then see what else is left. Ooh, there is this other thing. Let me s let, just wait, 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 please, please. What the deuce? Why is it in the middle? Ah. Convoys incoming. Do whatever you need to do, but get the supplies to the bunker for the mission complete. This is this is the insane. If there's a yeah, there's a chopper. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what happens because last time I couldn't get the chopper, and every time I try to get into those trucks, they just the 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 chopper will bomb me. It's just like there was no way. I mean, the moment I was respawned, I was bam. They were like bam, bam. I I couldn't do anything. I just I had to literally change my session. Here. And these things don't break. I just have to kill the you see at least like this. I have to kill the guards. But once I'm in there, I can easily run away. My problem is the that helicopter. Because it's a very heavily armed helicopter I'm dying here uh, you see that I can hold ta who the deuce is shooting me this is the chopper is the helicopter you see I can hold down tab on my keyboard and just eat snacks I can't do that in the car that's ridiculous noise Now I really don't know how to take get rid of that helicopter. I can't get behind those. Let me see. Is there a time? Yeah, there is a time. Look. Okay. Come on, come on, come to my... Where are you? Oh, it's right in up above my head. Oh, I was like, what the deuce? Come on. I can't get him. What do I do? Should I just run away? I'm gonna run away, see what happens. You too. Can I make a U-turn here? Thank you. 
Ding. 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 This is actually the first time. This happened only once. Do they have rockets? Do they have rockets? Last time they had rockets. Holy crap, Olini. Oh, this is actually... No, I'm sorry, guys. This is a different one. That one was somehow... Uh, it was another mission. I don't know which one was it. But I had to intercept Meriwether military uh, convoy. And they had heavy machinery rocket thing. It was crazy. Who was that? They fell down. The other thing I find very, I'm sure you've you've noticed it too. Uh, it is very annoying to me, and at the same time, funny. It's the drivers like. NPC driver. What the deuce is happening here? The NPC drivers that when they hear us, I mean, they, they really act crazy. They become very, very crazy. They actually, at, it's as if they attack you when they, like, when they hear gunshots. So, yeah. Anywho, this is actually quite easy. Ouchie. By the way, I would like to hear your opinion about uh, people or about any anyone, anyone, yeah, anyone uh, using or taking advantage or exploiting. I don't know which verb should I use, but uh, using the glitches in a game or bugs to their advantage. And what do you guys think about, and not just this game, any game. I've seen it so many times. So, What do you guys think about that? Do you think it's a cool thing to do or not? Even though, so even though there are known issues that you can take advantage, would you, do you think it's fair to use it? Is it or not? Or it's just a preference? I don't know. So, I don't like to use it anyway. Anywho. Resupplied. <laughs> Overall, if you have, oh, you can see my supply is fifty percent done. Let me get out. Of course, exit the bunker. If you have a, you know, a friend, if you have friends that they can join you on the missions, and you can have your own MC club, mot motorcycle club. And then, you know, just do missions and do all sorts of things together. It's going to be super duper fun. Because they really thought of this game being a, some sort of a team game. You know, you have to make your own team. And I, I, like I said, I've been doing this mostly solo and it's a fun. But... Nice work. Your technicians are... But the, the time that I worked, that I played while my friend was online, so we were in the same team, that was even more fun. Alright, let me take a look at the map and see what else is there. What else is there? What else is there? So, uh, we checked the bunker. These are my properties. Mm -hmm. That's uh, That came out wrong. These are, but it is true. Uh, it's correct anyway. So these are the places that I have, my businesses. Bunker, uh, cash, counterfeit, company. Uh, the office, I haven't gone there yet, but I've never used it actually. I've never done the missions related to this office. So, but it's a good place to get free snack. <laughs> uh, 
and my my nightclub is the best my auto shop is the second I, I have this arena workshop which we can go there and I think that's it and so uh, so those are like the things that I had in mind like I said it wasn't none of this was planned in uh, scripted or whatever it's just like I, ju I thought just play at the same time share with you guys share my experience that's it truly now right I'm gonna go to that stash house so let's do that it's gonna be fun dun, 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 dun. so And also, if you guys have, you know, I really appreciate uh, if you have ideas for me or videos that you would like to see. What sorts of video that you you enjoy the most? Um, I personally like like the the ones the videos that. You know, I could edit and make a story out of it, like the Star Wars games that I played. Not only the gameplay, but also like the clips that I can put together and then make some sort of a just, you know, a short story, short movie, if, if you will. I enjoy that one personally. I don't know if you guys like it. Also, what's your favorite game? And what's what do you think is the worst game right now out there in my opinion is FIFA 23 hate that game there, and there is a, I have a video on it if it's on my channel that why I hate it I mean that game is just man it's the worst Actually, my whole experience with EA has been very disappointing, except few games that, you know, that was very nice, that part of EA Originals. The rest has been garbage. I like to do the races, the car races, the F1 races here. They are very cool. And I enjoy those too. Yeah. Alright. We are at the destination. Jumping down. Too soon. I opened my chute too soon. Where did it fall? Where did the chopper fall? Fall. Okay, trees, trees, get down, get down, get down. <gasps> Ouch. My goodness. I can't enter while the police is chasing me. Alright, I'm gonna run away from the popo. Popo. Don't you, don't you, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Do not, do not. I mean, their cone of vision. Are they gonna? See it? You guys, they know. They know. They know I'm here. Nope. Who the deuce are they talking to? <laughs> These dialogues are funny at the same time, like weird. All right. Okay. They let me go. What you doing? Unbelievable. You want to fight? Keep it up. You'll get the Tai Chi treatment. What? Whoa. Hey, hey. You, you blind. Call me back the next day. Right. I'll kick your cooler, oh yeah? 
Okay. <laughs> he just fell, I jumped. <laughs> okay, bye. It's like, uh, you know, uh, Street Fighter 6 is that case, and I have a video, I played the demo, man, that game is insane. The amount of customization you can have in that game, it is absolutely insane. Let me get my pack. Um, but in that game, it's, it's fun because it's actually, you, you know, it's like an open world game, but it's a Street Fighter, so you can fight with almost anyone almost at all so you're for example you're walking and then it says for example it shows the name it says for example jake level two and you fight jake and it's so fun so much it was funny that i played the demo again it was fun i i haven't bought the full game yet this is a fun way to clear are these people it's a, it's a fun game it's a fun way to clear a stash house. Okay, whatever you say. Are you dead yet? Are you dead? Are you dead? Are you? Are you? Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. Alright. Where is that piece of paper? What's that? Where is it? There is, there should be a piece of yellow paper, like a post-it. Then uh, that has the code to the safe. Where the deuce is it? Do you guys see it? You gotta be kidding me. What? All right, this is the first time that is taking me this long to find that stick, that uh, post-it paper that has the code on it. You could have. Are you serious? Ah, oh, man, I'm blind. 77, 79, 73. Yep. 77, 79, 73. Let's go. Do it. Backwards, 77, 79, and 73. Bam. All right, and this is good because it will restock, resupply your stat, your bunker, either your bunker or your counterfeit cash. I mean, depending what business you have. And here's why I brought my bike here to run away from these. Sorry. And you see, you see it says uh, right there. Uh, where is it? Yeah, your acid lab. Okay, so I didn't have the acid lab before. Now I have it. So it got restocked. That's quite... What the fudge? Sorry, guys. Okay, give me the chance. That this, uh, now that I remember, let me go to my asset lab. It's right there. Now, here's another... Should I, there's, a, there's a chopper right here. Uh, right here. If you guys... You know, if you guys want to, you know. Just a tip. Just a hint. What the fuck? Did you see? Did you see that? Mother fudge, stupid mother. Freaking kidding me. Okay, I'm done. Okay, black said black SUV. Wait, I'm coming for you. Wrong car, wrong car, sorry. There you go. Done. Alright, now I'm going to my destination while losing the popo. It's quite easy to lose them while on the bike. That's. But you know what I mean. 
now by these crazy drivers on the road. I mean, for crying out loud, I mean, just go your way, man. They know, I mean, I know it's, I'm the crazy driver, but they don't even use the blinkers. Indicators, whatever we call them. Brum, brum. Okay, I'm almost there, Popo. It's time f to let me go. You know, one cool thing, one other... F I found that you can actually enter almost any place when while the police is chasing you. Like this place or any, any place that you own. And the police immediately lets you go. That's it. Alright, let's get in. I want to show you my asset lab. I upgraded it. I was like, you know, I got the money. Let's just do it. There they are. There they are. There they are. Hi. Look at that. Hi. Look at this crazy. I installed almost everything. Turbo, you know, all the upgrades for the car and the bike. So let's get out with the car. Let me see how much supplies do I have. This is also quite cool. So you had I had to pay for it, of course, buy it. But when you do the access missions, this Hello. will unlock. So I have supplies full, thirty-eight thousand to sell. I'm gonna sell these. Can I? To skip, speak. Where where do I sell it? Oh, right there is this green. Selling asset is unavailable while asset lab is parked inside the friction. Okay, so let's let's park it outside. Exit though to cab. So I'ma drive it. It's so it's so fun to drive with this car and ram all the cars in front of you because I have this, you know, kind of what do you call it? Enter the lap. Uh, the thing in front. It's I don't know what it's called, but I have that one. It's so much fun. All right, let's sell. I'm pretty sure I have to deliver it somewhere. Ooh, I'm with the bike. Okay, so this buyer wants us to make the drop at the top of a parking garage. We're supposed to leave the package in the trunk of a Washington he left up there. Guy seems kind of paranoid to me, but hey, I don't judge. Maybe they're really after him. You should have the location now. All right. Okay, so not that far, only 2.7 kilometers. This bike also has all the upgrades. Like turbo. Like, whatever. It's an insane bike. This is my first time actually selling my asset lab supplies because I got it very recently and maybe I well, we can go you know visit to the submarine as well that would be the last one I think with the Fragolini I forgot selling I need to go up I have to go with the bike. It says the trade-off locket is on top of the f parking. How do how do do I go up? Where's the door? There it is. Wing. Mm. Noise car. Still, more. Let me prepare in case there was some. Okay, stash the acid line in the trunk of the. Okay. Press E. 
Popo. Okay, this was a, this was a. Who sold me? Return to the delivery bike. Oh, I'm dying here. That was close, I almost died. Now, look at this, I need to do this while I'm the police is chasing me because I can't just you get you know off the bike to eat snack. Damn it, it's so annoying. Lose the cops. Where am I? I'm in the golf course. What the deuce, what are you doing here? It's three stars, meaning Meaning the chopper is after me. Cool. I hate those choppers. What? Ah, is it? Okay, sure. Okay, now let's lose the cops. Some freaking ass sold me to the popo like I said this is a surprise to me I've never done this, this is my first time doing these missions what the fudge sorry get up get up get up get up get up all right now I'm going to a place where you guys can't go and also I found out oh, the fudge did you just saw that did you just see that I mean the guy freaking idiots as if they're working with the police anyway I found that the easiest way to lose the police of course is to just go off-road I mean I, I am still on road but you get the idea like so and because this bike can go anywhere except here I think I'm s yeah they, they let me go okay so it says deliver the acid to the backup drop-off you gotta be freaking kidding me another okay so yeah again you see this eating snacks to replenish your health it's kind of the most annoying part while doing a mission. I mean, you're the driver and imagine you're also shooting at people on the bike or a in a car or whatever. And then, what can you do? I mean, I don't know, is there really, is, can you make a shortcut? I, I, I saw some people were talking about making a shortcut about it, but it was all about PS5. Never, I didn't see anything about PC. the best uh, why are you standing there dude <laughs> that was funny though <laughs> if I was a billionaire in GTA I would buy everything. Okay, it's right there. I'm not gonna follow the GPS anymore because I can just jump down. Wherever that is. Wherever the location is. What the? Dude. What? Where is it? Ah, there's a bike. Damn it, I'm not doing the mission here. <laughs> Thank you. What about my bike? Dude, my bike. 
my bike. Time remaining. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, now I can leave the area with this guy. <laughs> yeah, Max. Do you hear the music? I mean, they. <laughs> I mean, and the gang. I don't remember how to go faster than this. Was it shift? Huh? Space? Space is jump, of course. I don't remember how to go f really fast. What happened? What, how did they do that? Is it pressing? Dang it, I don't know how. Holding shift, control, alt, uh, C, no. <laughs> this is funny. Okay, we Ow. What the? I didn't want to do it. Don't remember how the fudge you could go fast in this bike. Eh, never mind. Let's go to the um, the sea, the ocean, whatever, and then call the submarine and do some submarine stuff. There's nothing really. I actually don't like to go to the submarine. But uh, yeah, I have a submarine. Never mind, I'm not going there. What else, guys? These guys will shoot you. They are. Oh, look! I found something. Something popped up. One thing that uh, now this thing popped up. I remember. I, I did this already. Is this? It's about the uh, island. You see here. Now, good thing you guys are here. I mean, you can see. Okay. Look. It says nothing. Just the money, and now uh, inspect the map. I'm gonna take a screenshot. And bam. I found one of these treasures on the island. I found one. It, they were like. I don't remember how much was in it. It was money. This reminds me of, you know, that stash. Or, or what do you call it? Smuggler's stash that you can find also while cruising in, in this area up here. Like the mountains. There's like smoke flares and then you have to follow the trail and that's it. Okay. I think for now I, I'm gonna end the video. It's getting too long and I'm getting, I also getting tired. Getting, I am getting tired. So, I hope this was again, uh, to, clear, to clarify, this was by no means a tutorial or what's good what's not good it was just purely again like I said many times it was my it is my experience it is my what I learned just by playing and doing things you know here and there and I know I missed a bunch of things I know many things could be done way better and there are many places you can buy that will earn you even more money but again, this is my experience. So I thought I just wanted to share this with you guys. And I hope this has been helpful. I'm going back to Auto Shop. I hope this has been helpful. And, you know, just fun to watch. And that's what I hope it is. And I really hope, I really appreciate your comments, your thoughts. So do share with me. And then... Yeah, do not forget to like and subscribe, please. Because I really want, wish my channel to grow. So I have 
you know, motivation and, you know, it's just uh, helpful for me. Thank you. And, yeah. So, guys, this is, this was another GTA video. I, I will make more. We will have more topics, more stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And see you at the next one. Bye-bye.